Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about, guys. The last Pokemon Go video we uploaded. Put out the challenge for 30k likes and Taylor will come with us to be an awesome cameraman for the Pokemon Go festival. You guys have done it. And not only that, not only have you guys done it, I didn't even leave a like. Now I have. So ladies and gentlemen, today's gonna be a little bit of an informational video for the Pokemon Go gang out there. If you follow me for my other stuff, then you might wanna click away. We're gonna be talking about Pokemon Go. So most of what we're gonna talk about today revolves around Pokemon Go Fest. Uh, as you guys know, I'll be going. Taylor will now be going thanks to your guys' help. And potentially Billy might be coming as well. Uh, Billy was the one who I went to New Zealand with and we took on that gym when the game first came out. And yeah guys, it sounds like a real fun trip. I am really excited for it. Now I have a couple ideas on how I'm gonna create content for this event uh, and travel in general. As you guys know, Brisbane, Australia, Chicago. It's not exactly very close. In fact, let me check how far away it is. Oh, 19 hours. And Oh. Wouldn't be the first time I've traveled very far to catch Pokemon. No, but seriously guys, it is going to be an insanely fun time. If you guys are actually going to Pokemon Go Fest, chuck me down a comment down below and hopefully I'll see you guys there. Um, we're hopefully going to do some fan meetups and whatnot at the actual event. It should be a ton of fun. But I want to talk to you about this. So as you guys know, Niantic has talked about this uh, way that people will be able to interact with the event all around the world if you're not at Chicago. You know, they get it. You might not be able to get to Chicago. It's it's the world. And if you're Australian like me, we never get anything over here. And, and we all we get is a Kangas can. <laughs> and this time we got a little bit gypped again, but you know, it's whatever. We'll just, we'll just disappear. So I'm gonna read through this information post that went out yesterday. Actually, just looking at this now, we're actually nine days away. Today's the 13th. We're nine days away from Pokemon Go Fest. Woo. I've got some plans to what we're going to be doing in the next week before that as well, which I'll tell you at the end of the video. But anyway, trainers, over the next few months, we'll be hosting a number of events taking place around the world in celebration of Pokemon Go's one year anniversary. No matter where you live, you're invited to join in the fun. So I'm going to go through this first, and then I'm going to give my opinions and what I think these events will be for and how they'll work. Um, so I'm just speculating, but I think I have a pretty good idea. Pokemon Go Fest Chicago, Saturday, July 22nd, taking place in Grand Park, Chicago. Chicago. So I'm obviously not gonna read all this. I'm gonna paraphrase and cut out the interesting points here. I actually didn't notice this before, but it actually says Pokemon Go Safari Zone. Another interesting thing here from this little screenshot is that there's a Kangaskhan in Barcelona. Australians no longer don't even have Kangaskhan anymore. We lost that too. They have a Tyrogue in Paris. I need one of those so bad so I can get my hit on top. And then also, I don't know if you guys saw this because I have a very keen eye. There is an unknown in that top right corner and that is saying E. That's an unknown E. Europe, maybe. Actually, it's all of Europe, so I'll, I'll put a safe bet in with Europe. So here we go. We're talking about the global challenges that trainers at the event actually unlock for special rewards worldwide. During the day, there will be three challenge windows in which trainers everywhere will work alongside those in Chicago to unlock global rewards. So during the challenge windows, trainers in Grant Park will attempt to unlock perks of Pokemon Go players around the world by catching certain types of Pokemon. Each Pokemon type will be tied to a different perk, so trainers at the park will need to carefully choose which Pokemon they catch. Will those in attendance try to catch electric type Pokemon? And there's a whole table of which type refers to gaining a bonus for um, the game, whether it be XP, Stardust, etc. Now it works in bronze, silver, and gold tier for the rewards globally. And uh, these are the windows in which we can actually get them. So it's throughout the day of the event, 11 to 11.30, um, 12 p.m. to 12.30, and 3 p.m. to 3.30. So it's like these time zones. Yeah, this is interesting. So I'm pretty sure I'm reading this right, but at the event, if we catch uh, enough Pokemon to click them over to silver, bronze, or gold, we'll unlock these globally. Now, I think it works in candy bonus. It might be like two times, three times, four times. Uh, XP bonus might be the same thing, one times, two times, three times. I, that's, I'm kind of assuming they might be balancing for different places in there. But I went on the Silk Road Reddit and uh, someone put up this poll for what they want people to work towards at the event uh, and what they want the most from. And uh, kind of clearly everyone is saying, Stardust, get the grass, go, go Stardust. Now based off of what I've played, I think on my phone, I think the most types I've ever caught is grass types. So judging by how many Pokemon are actually in the game, depending by type, I'm pretty sure grass is the most dominant. So I think this will get done either way, unless they manipulate the spawns a little bit, which I potentially could do. It's definitely gonna be interesting. And guys, leave a comment down below what you want me to work for. I am your slave and don't worry, I'll be slaving away during these times. I reckon I'll have so many videos from this event. I'm actually so excited, you have no idea. I haven't been this excited for an event since I can't think of one. Since I went to Japan, Japan was so much fun. Yeah, anyway. But I definitely do want to encourage all of you guys, even if you are going to the event, 
please get on the grind so that we can extend these from 24 to 48 hours. And then there's the mystery challenge unlock. I wonder what the mystery challenge unlock's gonna be. Man, I wonder what they'll drop with a bunch of people in one location at one time. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what's in the code and been leaked ages ago with level five eggs. Hmm. I think it's definitely uh, pretty obvious at this stage. There's so much hype around it. There's, de I think it's almost confirmed, but we have to unlock it. So it's going to be interesting. So trainers around the world actually have to catch enough Pokemon to unlock the challenge for us at the park. And then us at the park have to then complete the challenge so that so that it will unlock an extra special bonus across the globe. Uh, judging by how that's saying there. So if I was going to assume this is a legendary, you guys catch enough Pokemon for us. Then we get to do the legendary. Then we unlock it for everyone else. That's speculating at this point. Assuming that mystery challenge is that. Or it could be another hat. A second generation or third generation hat. I want that one. Make it happen, Niantic, please. I love me some hats. Actually, no, I don't. I don't want a hat. I know what I want. I want these. I want the squirrels with the glasses. They're the sickest thing in the anime. We need those. Can we get some squirrels with some glasses, please? Thank you. So then I've got the phase two here, the mystery challenge. So the challenge window is specifically from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. And achieve gold tier in phase one's worldwide catch challenge to unlock the mystery challenge inside Grand Park. So we actually need you guys to work this out for us. And then they have they have the leaders from Mystic Valor and Instinct. So maybe thinking the legendary birds might only come out because I think they symbolize the birds. I don't know about. I feel like Mew might be like maybe like a special kind of thing you get when you go to the event. I, it's all gonna be interesting, really. And then the global reward we unlock it for everyone else out in the world, and then it's from the 23rd to 24th. Um, so yeah. So this is the other part of it as well. Uh, Pokemon Go Safari Zones in Europe. So uh, we're excited to announce the variety of Pokemon Go Safari Zones taking place at Select. Uh, Shopping centers during August and September. All seven Pokemon Go Safari Zone events will give trainers the opportunity to catch a wide variety of Pokemon in special zones featuring Pokemon originally encountered in the Kanto and Jota region, including some Pokemon never before encountered in Europe. Additionally, trainers and attendants will be joined forces to take on unique and powerful raid bosses that will be making an appearance at these events. Hmm, wonder what those could be. And I suppose the main reasoning for this is that, I mean, level four raids require, I think they suggest this party size of around 17 to 20. I think you can get away with it with 10 people who know what they're doing, maybe five if they know what they're doing. Me and Ando had a real tough time doing that solo Venusaur with three people and we didn't get close. I'd say you'd probably 10 people know what you're doing. And if you extrapolate that to the legendaries, which God knows what their multiply for the CP is, I think it might've been leaked actually maybe um but i would suggest you only party sizes of 50 and i mean back in the start of when pokemon go came out it was pretty easy to get 50 people in the city play pokemon go wouldn't be too bad and these days that might not be too easy to get and i feel like these events are trying to bring people together so that everyone can manage to you know take it down and get it and the thing is when you actually take it down as well um who knows if you're even gonna catch it, right? I think we're gonna need some Master Balls, fam. Imagine if we could buy Master Balls in the store. That'd be sick. Uh, but yeah, definitely, I mean, that kind of confirms at that point there's a Kangaskhan in Barcelona. It looks like they're gonna get access to regionals, which has been up in the air at the moment whether or not Chicago will get regionals. I feel like they will just because it kind of makes sense, I think. I won't be walking around thinking I'm very cool with my Kangaskhan because everyone in the park probably will already have it, which is what I intended to do. I was gonna put it in all the gyms for everyone. That and my far-fetched. Humble brag, I caught all six regional Pokemon. What? Um, and then there's some Pikachu outbreak in Japan. The Pokemon Company will be hosting its annual Pikachu outbreak event, um, where a special Pokemon Go experience is taking place. More information about Pikachu outbreak will unveil by the Pokemon Company in the coming days, so stay tuned for the exciting details. Might have to go back to Japan. Yeah. Kind of be down for that. I love Japan. And then they've got another big heritage update taking place on the United Kingdom. So this is at the same time they're doing Pokemon Go at Big Heritage Festival. I just realized I'm going to be in Germany for Gamescom, but that's like August... It's like August 29th, 26th. Ah, missed it by like two weeks. Dang it. So yeah, guys, that's kind of just a little bit of a wrap. Just wanted to check in with you guys, talk to you about this event. If you guys are going, once again, definitely do look out for me. I'm, I'm planning to make a bunch of sick vlogs. And throughout the next week, me and my boy Taylor are going to be extra hustling to try and complete a few more Pokedex entries on my Pokedex. And guys, like this is how bad it's gotten. I was in the DMs with Ali A the other day and I chalked in my Pokedex, caught a few more. I was like, hey, yo, what's your dex number at? I'm at 228 caught, 232 seen. What you got? Hits me back. 228, 
Lol fam, fall back. He's on a 230. He's on a steady 230. So even my boy Young Ali A out here uh, topped me on these deck entries. Um, so later this week, me and Taylor are going to head out to Brisbane to do some serious Pokemon Go grinding. I'm going to be swiping Pokestops until my fingers go numb. I'm bringing 10 battery packs. We're doing like big 10 hour camp. I want to get more evolution items. I'm sick to death. I've only gotten Sunstones and one Dragon Scale. There, That's what's killing me right now is the evolution items. And yeah, we're just going to be taking raids on all day. Hopefully work up a flat. Laffy, maybe an Ampharos, probably not. We'll see how we go. More details on that. Follow me on Twitter for more updates. We'll let you know when that's happening so you can come meet us in the city of Brisbane. Of course, if you live in Brisbane and help us out with some raids. Anyways, guys, I'm your hype man. That was Pokemon Go, PokeFest recap, hyping up legendaries. Will it happen? Highly probable. And yeah, I'll give you more info when it comes out. Uh, leave a like if you're excited. And I will see you guys next time in the next video, whether it be Pokemon Go or something else. Later, guys.